Hi, in this video, we'll be describing the general use of the tablets that study staff at their sites will utilize when collecting participant information. When you first receive your tablet, it's going to come in a box like this, and it'll have a mark indicating RU, TB, unit, number, whatever. When you first open your box, you're going to see the tablet right on top. We're going to put this to the side, and we see right underneath the universal charger. This charger is used to charge your tablet. We're going to push this all to the side right here and grab our tablet. On the right side, you're going to see an array of buttons. At the top right is the power button. When you first receive your tablet, it'll be off. So just press down on the power button and your tablet will turn on. However, our tablet's already on, so I'm just gonna give it a slight tap and it's gonna take me to the front screen. You're gonna slide up and you'll be prompted to enter a password. The password for your tablet will be found in the SOP database. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in real quick. And once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the main menu. At the main menu, you'll see three different icons. Manager, the NJMS uh, RedCap web app, and the RedCap app. First, we're going to go through our manager. And when you click your manager first, it's going to bring up uh, an, an array of Wi-Fi's that, or Wi-Fi connections that you can connect to. And whichever Wi-Fi you select, you'll be prompted to enter your password to connect to your Wi-Fi. Um, if you see here the third button all the way to the right side, we're going to click that. It's going to take us to our settings. Here you can see you have language settings that you can adjust. So I'll click language settings. And right here, um, you can add your languages to the list below. The language at the top of the list will be used by default. So right now I have English, United States. If an app doesn't support the language, the next language in the list will be used instead. So here, if I wanted to add another language, since I already have English selected, I would just hit add language. I would go down, um, suggested Espanol, uh, set Espanol as default language. Um, I'm not going to set it as the default. I'm just going to keep my current, but I'm going to add that language anyways. And I'll have Espanol selected, Spanish selected as my second language. Um, if I want to go into further settings, I can hit this arrow right here and it'll take me to language and input. So again, you can change your languages here. I can put uh, change my on-screen uh, on keyboard. I can have a physical keyboard connected to my tablet, which you probably won't do. Uh, there's autofill service, text-to-speech, and pointer speed. However, if you click this arrow button one more time, You'll be taking to general management where you can adjust your language and input, your date and time, select your time zone, um, automatic date and time, the tablet will adjust to the time zone. Uh, you can reset your tablet, uh, which you can factory reset it when you first receive it, but you probably don't want to do it afterwards just because you already have this uh, settings that you want um, accustomed to your site saved, so you don't want to get rid of those. We're going to hit that arrow again, and it's going to take us to the actual settings. Here, we can go through certain settings like connections. We can, again, um, connect to Wi-Fi. We can connect through Bluetooth. We can put our tablet on airplane mode, and we can also check our data usage. Um, right here, you can see a software update is available. Sometimes you'll be prompted to update your software. We're not going to do that right now, but if, ever, uh, if it ever prompts you to do that, just update your software. You can adjust your sounds and vibration. So I can, instead of having a sound, I can put it on vibrate. I can put it on mute. You can put it on temp temporary mute as well. You can mess around with the sound systems, the volume, your notification sounds. I'm going to put my volume a little bit down. Uh, we'll put it back on vibrate. So we'll go back. Uh, you'll have notifications. Uh, you can either uh, mess around with your notifications. Um, you can also put it on do not disturb, which we do not recommend putting on. Um, also, you can just uh, change the brightness of your tablet. Um, so you can either make it super unbright, you can make it super bright. Um, as you see here, I already have the dark setting on. You can also put the light setting on. It'll just change um, the background color to whatever you want. Um, there's adaptive brightness, so it'll adapt to your settings and become brighter depending on the lighting around you. Uh, font size and style, if you don't like the text, you can change that. Screen zoom, a bunch of different options you can mess around with there. 
Um, there's wallpaper if you want to change your wallpaper, lock screen if you want to change the lock screen, um, security, privacy, location, accounts and backup, Google settings, advanced features, device care, apps, again, general management, accessibility, software updates. Um, if you ever need help with your settings, um, you can click, sorry, the help, the user manual. And there's a whole user manual. Uh, it'll take you as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, it'll help you um, go through the tablet and figure out if there's any issues that you need resolved if someone else can't help you. Um, so after that, we're going to look at our two other icons. Uh, we're going to look at the RedCap web version uh, icon first. We're going to click that. Uh, when you first click it, you'll see it takes us to the RedCap web version. Um, that icon is specifically used for this version. And usually when you're offline and you can't connect to the internet, but you still need to enter data, uh, you can use the RedCap app. The red cap app is one of uh, the apps, uh, the icons that we will be discussing further in the next two videos that you'll see after this. Um, so thank you for watching this video and I hope uh, you are able to successfully use your tablet.